Hello my dear students and a very warm welcome to our today's math session. In our today's math session, we are going to start with our chapter triangles and their property. Before we begin with the chapter, let's see what exactly is mean by a triangle. Whenever you try to join the non-collinear points which are provided on a plane, you get a closed figure with three sides which is called as a triangle. So, what is a triangle basically? Basically, a triangle is a closed figure which is formed when you join three non-collinear points. Now, we have the name as triangle. Now, as its name suggests, tri means three. A closed figure having three angles is called as a triangle. Now, not only the triangle has three angles, but it also has three vertices and three sides. So, triangle is a combination of three vertices three sides and three angles. Vertices, sides and angles are called as its parts. Now, let's see this with an example. Here, in a aside figure, we have triangle ABC. Now, this triangle ABC has three sides. Side AB, side BC and side AC. And it has three angles. Angle A, angle B and angle C. And the vertices are point A, point B and point C. So, these are the various parts of the triangle. Now, after seeing the definition, let's try to classify the triangles available. For classifying the triangles, we have two bases. First one is which is based on the sides and another one is based on the angles. Now, firstly, let's see what is the classification based on the sides. Now, based on the sides, we have the scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, as well as the equilateral triangle. So, le let's start defining them one by one. So, first one is a scalene triangle. So, in a scalene triangle, all sides are having different measures. That is, no two sides from the triangle will be having the same length. Let's take an example of triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, all the sides will be of different measurement like AB is of 3 cm, BC of 4 cm and AC is going to be of 5 cm. So that is what each side of a triangle will be having a different length. For representing different length, we have to represent it by using different symbols. Then next one is isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, a pair of sides will be having same length. That is, out of three, two sides will be having the same length. Like in triangle PQR, PQ and PR are having the length as 5 cm. And QR is having a different length that is 4 cm. Then after that, we have an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all three sides are having the same length. Or you can say all three sides will be of same measure. Then after seeing the classification based on the uh, sides, let's see what is the classification based on angles. Based on it, we have three different types of triangles. That is an acute angle triangle, right angle triangle and an obtuse angle triangle. Now, let's first start with the acute angle triangle. In an acute angle triangle, out of three, any one angle has to be acute or you can say all three uh, angles have to be acute. Now, what is meant by acute? Acute means the measure should be less than 90 degree. In between 0 to 90 degree, the value of angle is acceptable. So, let's define this acute angle triangle. A triangle who is having its all three angles as acute angles will be called as an acute angle triangle. Then, next we have right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, one angle will be measuring exactly 90 degree. To represent the 90 degree angle, we use a square symbol to the vertices where the right angle is present. Then after right angle triangle, we have obtuse angle triangle. Now, in an obtuse angle triangle, one angle is going to be of measure obtuse. That is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degrees. So, that is nothing but a obtuse angle triangle. After that, seeing the classification based on sides and types of angle, let's see what is mean by the properties of triangles. 
the first property of the triangle is the sum of the sum of the measures of the three angles is uh, 180 degree okay so is 180 degree now see if you add if you add all the angles of a triangle x y and z it addition should come exactly 180 degree it should not be more than 180 degree nor it should be less than 180 degree then next we have the property is related to its length if you add any two sides of the triangle its addition should come greater than the third side so like here i am having 5 cm plus 3 cm it will be 8 cm which is greater than 4 if i add this to 3 plus 4 it is going to be 7 it is bigger than 5 if i add this 5 plus 4 9 9 is greater than 3 so what is it if you add any two sides its addition should come greater than the third side so these are the two uh, conditions which are must or which are like most important whenever we are studying the properties of the triangle after that i hope children everyone is clear with today's session and if there is any difficulty or if there is any doubt you can drop it into the comment section and surely we will work on it thank you